Hey, guess what I just found, friends? Check this out. Mr. Nicholas Keel. Cindy Rice. Oh, oh, Cindy Rice. Now, hi. Bing, 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 bing. Mr. Gary Newman. Gary, how are you, bud? Shit link. Yeah. Friends, how are we doing? Buck and Billy Ray here. Buck and Billy Ray Smith's YouTube channel you've tuned into. How are you tonight? How are you this evening? And how's your day going? All in all, I hope it's well. I hope it's good. I hope it's fair and tidy. Now, Gary Newman. How are you, Gary? Gary, I have your name in my hand. But there's somebody we don't have up, friends. There's someone we don't have up. And he's a very interesting man. I've been working with him on the channel. Uh, there's been times where, uh, and, and friends, I'm being serious right now. I know sometimes you wonder when I'm being serious and when I'm not. Well, one, right now is one of the times I'm being serious. And what this channel is about is a few different things, but they all derive from love, okay? They do, they derive from love. Now, James Ledesma, okay? He's a man who, ah, I, I think he's in his 50s. He can be cynical at times. I, I would say cynical. He's homeless. He can be negative sometimes. Um, and James, you know what, buddy, <laughs> you are here for a reason, James Ledesma, you are, and, and I'll tell you something, James, and I mean this, I mean this very sincerely. I, and you know what, friends, this is a community. There's going to people, people think that that buck and he's, what's he doing talking like that? I, I don't care, friends. I, I don't care. I, I don't, I truly, I don't. Uh, my heart is on my sleeve. James Ledesma has come here. I'm probably not pronouncing it right, James. I'm just going to call you Homeless Scooby from now on anyways. Right, James? Homeless Scooby. Decal's got your name in. We were busy the last little while setting up for buck and stock. And James, James decided to become a monthly soldier of kindness, a messenger of kindness. Um, we're all messengers of kindness here, friends, but, but there's, there's folks that have decided to, to support the channel on a monthly basis. It's just, they just want to support the channel. They're, they're helping the channel. They're helping the community. James is one of those guys. He's homeless, right friends? He's homeless. And yet he, I think James gives a couple bucks a month to the channel. Two dollars, friends. <laughs> James, I love you, buddy. I do. But James, there's been times. I've removed your comments, James. You know all that stuff. We, we've been through all that stuff. And we've had a couple of emails together. But you know what, friends? Love is grand, friends. Love is... I love James. I, I just do. I love the guy. My mom taught me how to look through. And look, look, look through. Look to the... Look to the... Look for the good, you know? My mom taught me to do that. And I love my boy, and I love my family, and I, I love you guys. Thanks so much for being supportive to VR, because he's reinvented himself, and a lot of guys would just give up. None of us give up. I'm not giving up. I'm mean, going to have an open heart surgery, probably tomorrow, so say a little prayer for me tonight when you go to bed. I'll do the same for you. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Nana. And, 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 and James... Buddy, I just love you, and you are part of this community, my friend. You are. You crazy bugger, you, James. You are part of this community. Um, but he's still here because of love. Because I believe in James. I believe he has a heart. He has a big heart. He gives, I think it's two bucks. I, James, I'm not sure. It uh, doesn't matter. doesn't matter what it is. It's the fact that you do it. You're part of this community, Mr. James. And your name's going up on the freaking board as we speak. And I told you I would do it. And I do it for everyone who does that. And it's going up right now, Mr. James. Mr. Homeless Scooby. Buddy, it is. 
and you're part of this freaking community and that's how it is okay so that's what's going on so here's our here's our other sheet we're working on i got it over here there's a couple more over there that are full on the other side which you guys are aware of uh but i'm doing this on the channel for james but i am going to put your beautiful homeless scooby name up as a monthly contributor and supporter to this community james And you try. I know you do. You try, James. I know you do. I see it in you, buddy. I see it in you. You're going up right here, homeless. Look at this. Look at freaking homeless Scooby. Look at the homeless one. Bang! He's up there. Look, friends. <laughs> homeless Scooby, welcome, buddy. You're here. Look at friends. <laughs> Look at, you got Brian Rummel, who's a wild man. He was just at Buckingstock. Michael Brown, William Payton, Vince Dixon. Vince, you're a wild man. Thank you so much. Homeless Scooby, Ryan Murray. 2468, who do we appreciate? That's damn right. <laughs> it's crazy, friends. I never thought this would be happening to me. That's your freaking souls. That's funny. So, James, uh, welcome. My friend, you're one hell of a man. I know you are. I know you got a big heart in you. I've wondered about you a couple of times, buddy. I have. But you're still here. Because I love you, buddy, and I got a heart. I do. Okay, pal? So thanks a lot, James. Messenger of kindness. Over and out, friends. Be kind. Blink! And you know who else? Do you know who else, friends? Yeah. Mr. Gary Newman. Gary, how are you, bud? Shicklink. Gary Newman. Now, as a matter of fact, Cindy Rice. Old, old Cindy Rice. Now, her, she is now. So we've added Cindy Rice tonight. Cindy Rice, you're going up. You're darn tootin' you are. Gary Newman. Mr. Gary, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you sincerely. Thanks. So cool, friends. So cool. I didn't know. YouTube? As a supplement to my income, Buck and Billy Ray, the tree cut and freaking hillbilly from Cedar, is, is, has supplements coming from, from YouTube now, friends? <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. If you knew me and you knew where I came from, you would think that is absolutely crazy. And it is. And I love you people for it. Thank you so, so much. Cindy Rice, Gary Newman, thank you both so much. Let's put you up on the wall. Okay, let's go over here. Gary Newman. Bang. Mr. Gary Newman. Gary, you're up. Cindy? Cindy Rice. I love it. Cindy, thank you for helping out the channel and contributing to this. If you had been to, been to Buckingstock, you would have felt and seen what you were contributing to. It was amazing. Beyond words. Beyond words, Cindy Rice. And the reason I make a big deal about this stuff, friends, is because it is a big deal. It's a damn big deal to me. There we go. Yeah. Check it out, Sin. Mr. Gary Newman. Cindy Rice. And Homeless Scooby. How are you? You're going up. That was the other one. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mr. Mike Dahar, up you go, bud. It finally happened. Remember, we got all kinds of different names for you, buddy. <laughs> we finally got it, bud. Oh, hey, get back here. That warms my heart. That freaking warms my heart. Look at this, friends. Finally, the name. Decal just gave me the names when I went to Indiana. I brought them home in my suitcase. Cindy Rice, Gary Newman, Mike Dahar, and Homeless Scooby. Friends, thank you all so much. Thank you for your help and your support on the channel. It's awesome. Look it. Shout out, Mania. <laughs> Thanks, friends. 
Over and out. Be kind. Hey, guess what I just found, friends? Check this out. Mr. Nicholas Keel. Yeah. Nick, we got you going up, bud. You can't deny it, buddy. You're a soldier of kindness. You're going up. You are a messenger of kindness. We are all soldiers of kindness, but this man is a messenger of kindness. And Nicholas Keel is going up on the wall. And there it is. He's up. The man's up. Thank you, Nicholas. Thanks for your contribution monthly to this channel. What do we got over there? I thought I had Nick up. Oh, it's Nick Beam. That's what it was. It's Nick Beam. Nick Beam. Thank you, buddy. friends. What are we doing? Did that slip down? That knot didn't. Have. It did too. I told you, if you don't know knots, tie lots. That's funny. <laughs> no, they, they must have let it down. They've been hanging around here. Uh, that, that knot wouldn't have come. I'm to do some firewood to get this thing freaking ripping. Okay, we're setting up buck and stop, friends. This is wicked. Straight up wicked. <laughs> okay. We got to buck some firewood. I got to get a power saw. Friends, we just filed up this 1010. Chuckles is going to grab the camera and just film me while I buck a little bit of firewood here. This looks like ash to me, but it's dry. It's been down a while. Now, this, uh, this, is, this is Doug's 1010. I just threw a hand file on it, friends. It's basically... A skip tooth chain 3 8 just quickly got it you know go cutting a little better use my raker gauges on my old Carlton I brought my old Carlton with me so talk us if you don't mind yeah just come on in close okay this power saw. Oh,
going to get some more bucking wood for the it's beautiful friends bucking stock is shaping up to be one of the coolest events that I've ever been taken part of I, I truly mean this it's uh, I, I'm, I'm I'm kind of a I get I get sappy sometimes friends I just I'm so grateful you guys hear about this all the time but I, I, I from where I come from it's just so hard to not be grateful We got another friend just showed up. I don't know who it is. Let's grab these three, Chuckles. All right. Beautiful. Now kick her, kick her back, Chuckles. Yep. I'm gonna grab it at a different angle. Yeah, you bet. This one in the guts, Chuckles. Yeah. So go that way a bit. Like this. Grab both of those, take them out, and then line up with these two. Alright. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now just pivot this way. Gorgeous. There you go. Alright. Drop her down. Just come this way a bit. There you go. Straight in. Alright. Good. Yeah, there you go. Straight up. Ha ha ha. You did her, buddy. You got her. Stay your back. That's what I want you to do, partner. Look at this young fella go. I'll tell you right now. Fathers, spend time with your boys. Spend time with your boys. And if you don't, if you don't have, you know, son in your life or, or a dad in your life, there's people out there that want to help. And people that want to show kids how to do things. I'm one of those guys. Uh, I, I, I never grew up with a father, so 
I had to kind of fight my way through it and I did all right. So I'll tell you something. He's fathers, be with your kids. Show your kids. Mothers do the same. Obviously mothers are going to, it's in their nature. But men, it is never too late to get a hold of your boys. Even if things went awry in your family, you got one, you have a massive opportunity. It's not an obligation. I know this is a strange topic, but it is not an obligation. It is an opera free opportunity. Help your son out. Get him a start in life. He needs you in your life. He needs you in your life. Be there for him. Cool, buddy. Okay, dump it right there. One hell of a job, young man. Okay. I think you should grab me some more. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll start bucking, unless you want me over there. No, you can come. You gotta tell me what you okay. want. Okay, you need me? Okay. We're gonna go get some more. Okay, hi everybody. This power saw is a brand new Dalmar. Saks Dalmar, uh, automotive G3. G3. Brought these power saws. He's got ground chain on it, friends. It's Friday. Uh, we just, we're setting up and he just, he pulled in. He's got ground chain on this. Looks like full house ground. And, uh, and he's got it looking like he's got it cutting pretty good. And he just asked if we wouldn't mind giving it a run. And I said, no, leave the property right now. You've got a Dalmar. I'm just kidding. That's pretty funny, wasn't it? I didn't think so. <laughs> this is cool. We're going to rip this up right now. We're going to give it a shot. And Chuckles is going to do, Chuckles on the camera. Sax yeah. Dalmar, 3H chain, full house, ground chain. With a little bit of, he's been, not with this one. The other one we're going to cut. <laughs> Just a little bit, eh? Yeah, not too, not too aggressive. Yeah, no, wood sport. Which is nice. Yeah. That's a smooth running saw. Yeah. That's very nice. 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 Let's try this other thing. Yeah, fire it up. Yeah. 661. This is a 661. Even though I have to run that thing? Automotive. Is there port work done here? A little bit of port work, same idea. The chain's a little different here, friends. Still, that was a smooth cutting saw. Not, not, not a bunch of, uh, not as strong as I thought. How many cc? 78? 78. Interesting. Huh. As you plan an That cuts better than that one. Oh yeah. Well, this um, that might need a might need a little uh, thing to get it back on because this is pretty tight. I don't know if we'll be able to pull it back on. Very good comic saw. What's the weight? I want to feel the weight. It's light that Dalmar. Yeah, it's real. Let's see if we can get this back on. It's on, brother. Maybe we get the driver. It'll wear it. It'll wear it back in right away. 
That's wonderful. Did you try that? Yeah. What'd you think? Smooth running saw. It's smooth. Yeah. Oh, Very smooth. Saw. I love it. Thanks for bringing that yeah, stuff. That's Thank freaking you. awesome. Nice to have a new saw like that come in and, and check it out. Yeah, it's something yeah. different, you know. Oh, we really appreciate you doing that. <laughs> so that's automotive. Automotive three. G3 automotive. G3 automotive. G3 automotive. That's awesome. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for your camera work, young man. So friends, that was kind of cool, eh? With a Dolmar like that. So he's got it cutting real good. The grind seems nice. Yeah. Are those 28s? Yes. 28 inch bar. Yeah. 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 This is very nice. I like those dogs on that freaking door. Yeah, they, they, yeah. yeah, they're nice. Yeah, though that cuts lovely. I like, I like a, a strong saw. That is a smooth running saw, 7910. Oh, now, is that brand new? Yeah. It's brand new. Well, it's got, you know, it's got some hours on it, but it's, it's new. Yeah, and that, that chain cut much nicer. Yeah, and it looks like you're running Oregon chain. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. this this cut much nicer, and I think just because it's it's newer, it's not as hungry, you can actually see the rakers are not as hungry at all. Friends, your raker height is so important. He's got a nice grind. You stay just above your, your black line, I see. I go just under. Yeah. Everybody does a little teeny bit different on the, on the grinds, eh? It's cool. You like to steal better in the donut? I yeah, for power, yeah. Yeah, I, my my vote is is with the with the but what I'd like to see is is the chain swapped out and and run the chain on that still. Okay. That would be cool. Yeah. Is that a possibility? Yeah, we do whatever you want. Back in a flash. <laughs> hey, how we do it? You're kidding me. Buckenstock. Friday night we haven't begun the uh the big festivities yet. I see the battery's almost dead. You got another battery? Uh yeah. Okay, so we're not so gonna die, there. but we're gonna die pretty quick. How's everybody doing? We're Buckenstock Friday night. We got friends that are bringing power saws and axes. They're popping out of the woodwork. We're having a freaking blast here so far. Buckenstock is not actually in effect yet, but there's folks that have traveled a long, long way. And uh, the saw surgeon, this black jack shellac guy looking behind me there, uh, I sent him up a tree. He was a bunker man. He was a bunker boy. He brought this freaking power saw out here. Chuckles, would you mind doing the honors, please? Come on. All right. Mikey Heisman, very similar to the the the, the 250s and that model of saw, because it's actually called a 650, is it not? It's a 550. A 550, friends. McCulloch 550. Apparently, it's got 92 cc. Yes. He's guessing 92, because the other ones are 80s. This is a big power saw. It's a darn big power saw, and it's actually got one of my favorite pistol grips on it. This is cool. It hasn't been fired in a year. We've given it a little sip in the in the uh, carburetor. We're, We're gonna try and fire the sucker up now. <laughs> but I'm gonna set it down on a root. Here I found a root, right here. Oh gosh, here's Cletus. Get over here. And we turned on, off, on. Bucking taught me how to start a power saw kind of like this right here. I'm going to give it a shot. I told you that, didn't I? I hear fire. We need another drink, I think. 103 cc's. 103 cc's? Dang. Little drink in there. It's been a year. Beautiful. Where's the 
We're gonna go see Buckin. He's got something to show us. Physically. Buckin, what do you have to show us? Well, they, said, <laughs> they said you could pretty much do whatever you want. Oh, hey, how you doing? Well, hey everybody, I, uh, I cut myself <laughs> with an axe. And the funny thing is, is it was quite, a, quite a, a wound, more than I had anticipated for Buckenstock. <laughs> and it looks to me that I, I just got back from the hospital, I'll show you the vid. Um, apparently there's meat on the axe. And that's it right there. Now, what what setting are you on on that GoPro? Super I view? I don't know. Oh, okay. How do I tell? It doesn't say. Okay, just then just do a pan in and a pan out. So there, okay, now yeah, back off now. Okay, stop right about there. So there's there's my skin from my wound. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Oh my god. What you got your hammock up? Yeah. That was nice. Actually. That was really close. Got it. See if I can do that. It's one hand. It's, I doubt it. I like that little axe. This one? Yeah. Who's this hippie? <laughs> Brian Hines. Brian Hines, brother. I'm hey, you were close. Good to see you. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. So friends, we're at the Buckin' stock here. Buckin's out of the hospital again. I'm back rolling. I got a bit of a wound on my mitten here, which is probably not going to slow me down too much, but it is going to change things a little bit for me. It's not going to change anything for anybody around here, especially this man right here. This, this is Jevin. We call him Jeff. And he's got an axe. Where'd you get that axe? Um, we got it from a yard sale. Yard sale? Uh, um, in a... What's the town? What was the town? Um, Logansport. Oh, Logansport. Indiana. Indiana. Logansport, Indiana. And we found this in a trailer at the yard sale. Nice. And it was sitting there. And then the handle right here. It was all rotten. Rotten? Yeah, but we yeah, got it looks it fixed it, yeah. up. But we got it fixed up. And we put one of these in there. Yeah, I see that little wedge in there. Now. <laughs> and yeah. we got it cleaned up. And yeah, it's good. The yellow was all yellow because that's a little bit yellow oh, oh the, the paint old. yeah i can see some yeah. of it there yeah it's right there in the yellow letters yeah. this was actually a boy um that had the hair like that yep and he had i don't know what it was it was like a ear nose ears oh, yeah, yeah. That's one of those. so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix this up we're gonna make this a better axe for this young man boy's axe he says he wants a 28 inch handle and he likes the three pound head. He likes the weight of it, he tells me. I mean, look at the size of the monster. He's ready to take on the world, <laughs> Jevin is. This kid's gonna be something, I can see him. I'm gonna be a future climber. A future tree climber? Mm -hmm. from my grandpa. Nice, he's gonna teach you? Well, you listen to what he says then, because mm -hmm. he's smart. Okay, good, so say, see you later to the YouTube. See you later, YouTube. Friends. Be kind, friends. Did you hear what he said? Let's do it.